Swear words, a very essential part of the vocabulary. Now I swear on a daily basis, well if you couldn't tell from the videos. I'm not really your Nick A, family friendly, neighborhood guy you'd see, no. So I think I'm pretty qualified to rank all swear words. Every single one of them. Okay, not all of them. Yeah, I'm gonna be very surprised if this video ends up being monetized. And disclaimer to all the little Timmies out there watching this, don't repeat these words. Your mother won't be very happy. So we'll first start, just rip it right away. Fuck. Apparently, it's the most common used swear word in America. It's very versatile, too, believe me. And it's got that uh to it. It's got that power. It gives your sentence mad weight. Like, think about it this way. Like, if you say, Timmy, what are you doing? Versus, Timmy, what the fuck are you doing? Like, which one do you think Timmy would be more startled by? Boom, perfect. Gets your point across perfectly S tier. Now, contrary to that, we have Frick. Like, it's literally the baby Einstein, the Coco Melons of swear words. This is just horrible, bro. I just can't get behind this word. Like, if swear words were all in a high school, this would be that one nerd that would be getting bullied and shoved into lockers. Now, I don't even know if it counts as a swear word if it, or if it's just a substitute. Because I don't think I would be sounding, like, really mighty if I were to be saying, like, oh, what the frick? Yeah, I would just sound like a complete nerd. It's just the erm um, actually of all swear words F tier. Next, we have damn. Now, damn has a special place in my heart because it was my very first swear word I ever said. I said, damn it, while I was playing Pokemon on my DS, and it was raps. My mom almost snatched the DS out of my hands. And if you ever swore by accident when you weren't supposed to, you could say, oh, oh wait, I'm talking about the, uh, the beaver dam. Yeah, that's right. That's what I was referring to. It's just a classic, but a lot of people don't really refer to this one as a swear word, because the severity of it is a lot less than any of the others. Like, I could just sit here and say, damn, all day, and YouTube will keep my video monetized. But I do say it a lot in daily life, so we're gonna have to give it an A tier because I could say it in public or in a workplace or whatever and not be looked at like I'm a complete alien because that's really what happens if I say anything slightly vulgar than damn. Next we have bastard. I don't know, I'm kind of in the middle about this one. I don't really know how to feel about it because I would just feel like an, a complete old head yimmerin' with this one. I'm just reaching unk status with this because I just feel like I'm trying to get you off my property when I say it. Okay, it's not that old, but it's, it's an unk swear word, I would say. I don't know. You just say it if you think someone's a terrible person, but this isn't like the first one that pops up in my head for a swear word, so we'll give it like a C tier. Like, it just isn't iconic enough. Next, we have pissed. Or like pissed off. Now I don't even know this was considered vulgar in any way. Just saying you're pissed off. Apparently you're swearing. Oh my god. And apparently I'd be nuked out of the Christian family friendly Minecraft server with this. I'm just gonna get blown up by Flint and Steel even if I say this. Because even in regular show or in Cartoon Network they the censor pissed. Because Rigby said Benson is going to be pissed and now it's Benson is going to be ticked. What? But he's gonna be ticked. But he's gonna be pissed! Okay, look, I know you're trying to preserve and keep the youth's brains clean, but... Swear words aren't gonna do shit because people are gonna learn them eventually. Especially pissed off. Because there's no way a teacher, a parent, or whatever, your goddamn librarian's gonna say, Oh, I'm very ticked off today. Like, no. They're gonna say it. So, D tier. How is this even a swear? Next, we have ass. I mean, who can't love this one? Like, it's a great way to describe terrible music. Now, it's not really the greatest insult. There's better ones out there than saying you're an ass like okay but assholes would probably do you better i don't know what it is about the whole part but it just really meshes the insult well there's just a major difference somehow which confuses me and we're gonna have to give it a b tier because it's pretty essential like what what would i call terrible music booty cheeks baby but ass just rolls off the tongue next we have shit now it's only right that this goes in s tier because it's my personal number one used swear word and there's just so many different variations like bullshit the shitter like it's just very versatile and it will pass in a public setting or you most likely won't get any weird looks it's kind of like you're riding the line type of thing so s tier all the way then we have wanka Okay, that was so British. But do people in the UK say this one? Because I never hear anyone in the US ever say this. And when I looked up swear words, this was one of them that came up. So I'm curious if anyone from the UK is watching this. Is this a common one? Or are you going to be looked at like you have three heads if you say this? But pretty soon, people are not going to be saying wanker. And they're going to be saying gooner. All right? People are just going to be going around calling people gooners. Because that really is just an insult to your manhood. Those two words basically mean the same thing. You're basically 
saying you're a simp loser that watches Hubbington and OF all day. It's good on the insult level, but not really for a public setting, so D tier. And it's not really said often either. Next we have crap, which is basically shit's little brother. Like, it's just another baby word. Like, are you serious? Like, it just doesn't have that same power level as shit. Crap is like level one, and then shit's over there with level 999 power. Because the sentence, I'm going to take a crap, just doesn't hit, so F tier. It's it's only right. Crap is like the Disney Junior to shit. Next we have twerp. Really? Twerp. Like, this one's just laughable, I'm sorry. And according to Google, no, no, it is derogatory and informal. So don't even come at me like, oh, well, the duck. This one's not really a- no, no, according to Google. According to Google. And what even is it? It's just a silly and annoying person. Like, I know Team Rocket said it all the time. So what do you say to that? For your twerpish information- This one just has the lowest power level out of all the swear words. Imagine someone trying to sound tough by saying, You twerps, get off my property! No, like, it's over. G tier. Like, it just has to go in G tier. I can't even put it on the list. Like, you just sound like an absolute nerd. Like, you'd probably get pantsed for saying the word twerp. Next, we have douche, or D-bag, whatever you call it. I feel like it's kinda got its own little swag to it. Like, I'd save this word for people who are the scum of the earth. Like, I only call certain people this word, like if they're genuinely just a terrible person. Like I say this word for people like Jack Doherty and Neon. Like if you're over here like fucking up the streets on kick.com, like you know what, I would call you a douchebag. Like if you're over here in broad daylight just harassing other people for your live stream, yeah, I'd say you get that nice little label. So we'll give it like a calm little B tier. Next we have hell. Now I don't even know how I went this long without talking about hell. Because it's the best one for public spaces. Because some people don't even consider it a swear word, and it's still got that uh to it, still got power to it. Like, I'd feel like I'd be able to say it in a job interview and still get the job. Okay, don't quote me on that part. Don't say it in your job interviews. But that's how unnoticed it goes. And we're gonna have to give it S tier. It's one of the iconic five, and one of them I still haven't even talked about yet. Next, we have dick slash dickhead. I don't know, this one's kind of generic. It's definitely better than twerp. Like, the head part of it adds so much to the insult. Because they're saying their head shapes like a penis, and they're an asshole. So it's, you know what, I'll give it like a B tier. It sounds generic on the surface, but once you add that head part to it, that's when shit starts getting personal. Next we have pussy. Yeah, I don't know why I said that so weird. But anyway, this one, this one literally just emasculates any man. Because if you're called that, you have to go drop down, do 50 push-ups. You have to run through a whole military mine course and run through a field of landmines. You would go ahead and do all that, do the most badass military training, and people would still call you a pussy. And no matter how crazy or daredevilish things that you do, if someone brings out this word, it completely invalidates everything crazy that you've done. So we're gonna have to give it an A tier. I don't know why this insult is so valued, but it is. Next we have bitch. Now, I don't know how and why I took so long for me to talk about this, but here we are. The final piece to the iconic five of swear words. It's basically pussy, but better because it just rolls off the tongue. It's more common and it is definitely way better than saying chicken bok bok chicken scaredy cat. Yeah, no, no one's saying that shit. Like it's just another, another one with power S tier. Next we have thought. Now this is only used in very specific specific scenarios where let's say some girl is selling pictures of herself to lonely simps that are quite rotund and greasy on the internet. And if you're for the streets, you're for the streets, so the insult's valid. Like, if everyone knows you as, like, a pass-around, like, you're cooked, like, you are never getting into another relationship again. Because this word holds a lot of weight. A lot of weight. Because it says a lot about your character. And you're willing to just do it. Do the deed with anybody. Show certain pictures to anybody or cheat on anybody. We're gonna have to give it an A tier. Next, we have Prick. Yeah, I don't even get it. This one I just don't understand at all. Like, what? where did the insult even derive from? And what I imagine when I hear this word is somebody is calling me a spiky ball. Like, one of those spike balls from Mario. It's got a little bit of that uh to it. But it is kind of mid, though. I don't know. I don't really hear it that often. And I just think of spikes on the ground or something when I hear it. So I'm gonna give it a C tier. Like, I somewhat see the vision, but yeah, I don't know. It's not really hitting. Next, we have twat. Okay, that just sounded horrible coming from my mouth. But you you know what I'm talking about. That delivery was awful. But I can't deliver with this one personally. Like, it just doesn't hit hard when I say it. It just doesn't fit me well at all. Because it's UK slang. Maybe I just need a little British accent behind it. 
and it'll work. I never see myself using this one. It's kind of like twerp. Like, I feel like it's kind of the same thing, so D tier. It's only like a small step above twerp. But yeah, some swear words you should refrain from saying in public. And same with your intrusive thoughts. You should refrain from saying those in public. And I have a video right here all about the different types of intrusive thoughts you may experience. Go watch it right now.